um, I wanted to speak to Jody just to let him know that his package came to the CVS. And if I'm not here by the time you get your package, just wanted to let you know that the reason why they got shipped over here because no one would sign for the package at your office. Thank you. Because it wasn't supposed to go to the office in the first place. This shirt, this shirt has never been more applicable than it is today. I'm going to share with you my frustration with UPS, you know, United Parcel Service. So let me tell you about a tale of two packages. One package showed up at my house today. The other package did not show up at my house today. It was supposed to show up yesterday, but it didn't show up yesterday. Guess what? It ended up coming to my office today. But I wasn't in my office because I've never ordered a package to my office. So what's going on? Why is one package there today, now, while the other package ordered from the same vendor at the same time with the same name and address just poof and is being delivered to a UPS access point? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because on my house where I had my business, I put a sign that said that I had moved the business. The driver yesterday apparently took that to mean that the package wasn't supposed to be delivered to my house. I have the packages delivered to my house because it's more secure. Someone will always be there and there are several security cameras and proximity sensors that go off and detect everything that goes on at my house. Whereas my office, I may not even be here because I do a lot of on-site stuff. I do a lot of house calls, so why would I have a package delivered here? I don't really know anyone in the building to the point that I would trust them with hundreds of dollars worth of customer equipment. So of course, they come here. I'm not even going to be here. They can't deliver the package here. But that's the thing, I never ordered the package here. And I got to thinking about it and I realized, hmm, so they didn't deliver the package yesterday when they were supposed to because there was a moved sign and they said, oh, the receiver has moved. We'll deliver to the new address tomorrow. But they delivered to the old address today. Okay, <clears throat> well, different drivers maybe? Different applications? Okay, but here's the problem with all of this. This is different application of this policy. Is the policy that if there's a piece of paper on the door that says we have moved, here's the new address, that you move it to the new address, that you send the package to the new address? If so, why did a package come to the house today? But not the package from yesterday. Why did that come here to the office I'm not in? Why is it now going to another place and I won't get it until tomorrow? Not today. They didn't take it to the other place today. I have to wait another day. So the package that was supposed to come yesterday will now come tomorrow and isn't coming to my house. Okay. In inconsistent application of the policy. That's one thing. But here's the more sinister side of this. I want you to think about this really hard for a moment. I put a piece of paper on my door that says, we've moved to this address. And that's all it took to get one of my packages diverted to the address. No, they didn't deliver it to the address that was on the actual box. They took it upon themselves to go to this new address. What if I wasn't home and someone else put that piece of paper on my door that said, deliver the package to this other address. Now you've got a UPS driver taking a piece of paper someone put on the front door that says, new address, go here, and just redirecting the package. So, if you know, for example, that someone ordered a thousand dollar TV, let's just say a thousand dollar TV, okay? <clears throat> You can have it redirected to a dummy address where you're just there waiting for it and you sign a bogus signature for it and take the thousand dollar item. Now the person's delivery is gone. You've stolen their thing. You had it sent to a bogus address, so there's no way to trace it. It's just gone. Thousand dollars worth of stuff gone through no fault of the customers. The customer didn't do anything wrong, but a piece of paper on the door is all it took to hack the security. All it took to get the driver to take the package to a different location was to put a piece of paper on the door saying, we've moved. 
Am I the only person who sees a problem with this? Surely I'm not. I, I can't possibly be the only person who, who can look at this and go, this isn't quite right. There might be some issues with redirecting several hundred dollars worth of electronic equipment to the address that isn't the one on the box. Without making a phone call to anyone, without sending an email, without holding it for a second and asking, without doing anything to confirm that this is actually correct. Piece of paper on the front door. Send hundreds of dollars a gear somewhere else. Everything is okay, comrade. Yeah, UPS, you need to get your stuff together, man, because this is ridiculous, and it better not happen again. I just got off the phone with UPS's phone support, and I just sort of wanted to set myself on fire and cry in the corner as I cooked to death, because it was the worst possible experience imaginable. The woman could not understand that all I was calling to do is have the, the boxes that I order that are shipped through UPS with an address on the box delivered to the address on the box. That was too hard to understand. Circles and circles of this nonsense kept getting put on hold, kept hearing the same stupid generic scripted information. So I hung up because I don't have time for this crap. I charge $200 an hour to go out to a business and provide professional services. I'm not going to sit here and spend $200 an hour worth of my time dicking around with some foreign person I can barely understand. I don't even know what the hell their accent was. It sounded vaguely French, but my, I, don't, I don't even know. And I don't care. They didn't understand the slightest bit of what I was trying to explain to them, and I could barely understand the words they spoke. What the fuck am I supposed to do, man? I don't have time to sit around. Time is money, and you're wasting my money. UPS owes me $100 right now for wasting all that time of mine. And you know what? I get that you guys are giving that person $2 a minute, or an hour, or a year, or something. I don't even care. But you're paying someone who's God knows where, some sort of awful third world wage to not help me. Screw you. I give up. And I'll, I'll just deal with it. I just deal with it. And that's the problem, is that what am I supposed to do? I could be doing actual work. I could be doing literally anything else other than dealing with this crap. And all they had to do was deliver the box to the address on the box. And none of this would have been an issue. But apparently UPS who charges a metric fuck ton, by the way, to ship a computer here from anywhere, UPS, for all the money they've got, and all the systems and logistics that they can manage and set up and just keep flowing freely, can't deliver a box to the address on the box when their driver has literally driven to the address on the box. Bye! Can't deal with this anymore.